breaking now. A homemade plane upside down in the Indian River. These pictures into us from Sky 13. You can see the wheels up in the water right there. This is near Rockledge in Brevard County, about three miles south of State Road 520. News 13's Amanda McKenzie joins us live now. And Amanda, I understand everyone on board is okay and doing well, but what happened? Well, Marla, it is truly remarkable what happened here this afternoon. Like you said, a small homemade plane crashed into the Indian River behind me. And as you can see in the distance, that plane is still in the water with the wheels up. Both pilot and passenger survived that crash and managed to escape and swim to a nearby island, suffering just some minor injuries, some bruises and scrapes. Now, I spoke to both the pilot and passenger, and they say they are thankful to be alive and are in good spirits. The pilot Bill Simmons built the plane and says this was his first incident. He said the plane experienced some engine trouble, started sputtering, and ultimately crashed in the water, landing upside down. He tells me he has been flying since 1947 and says this crash won't stop him from flying again. The engine failed, quit running, so it was coming down, and as you round out, the water wasn't very smooth there. It's a nice big swell. And without the power, when the, when the boat skipped off of that swell, it just noses in. I have no way to pull the elevator back. No engine power, so it won't respond. It won't flatten out. So it just hit on the nose and just run over on his back. For now, the plane will remain in the Indian River until a salvage crew can come and remove it sometime tomorrow. And the FAA is also investigating this crash. Reporting live in Rockledge, Amanda McKenzie, News 13.